The Coffee Cup Web Form Builder is an essential app for interacting with your website visitors, and they are super easy to embed within any website. In this tutorial, you will learn how to publish Form Builder projects and embed them into your website. So let's get started. Once your web form is ready to go live, you'll need to configure the sending properties. Click on the settings toolbar icon to review the options. Under general, you'll be able to supply the form with a name and select your time zone. If you will be uploading to the Coffee Cup servers, you will enter your information under the Form Publishing tab. Enter your Coffee Cup S Drive information and choose the domain where you want to upload the form to. Use the Confirm Email tab if you would like to send a copy of the form submission to the person who fills it out. The To drop down box will sync with any email element within the project. The name configured for that element will appear for you to select. Enter the from address and select an email template. Under the Confirm Page tab, this gives you the ability to choose what the user will see once the form is filled out. They can see an embedded message with the results, be redirected to another URL, or you can send them to a custom HTML page. The Notification tab is where you will configure the receiver's information. This way you can be notified as soon as someone fills out the form. If you will be exporting your design to a host with a third-party provider, you'll need to select whether you want the form submissions to save to a text file on your server or to a MySQL database. Finally, the last two tabs allow you to sync with a MailChimp mailing list or configure your merchant information if you're collecting payments. Once all these settings are configured, hit the Publish Toolbar icon to upload your form to the Coffee Cup servers. When it completes, you can view your form online and share it with others using the link that the form uh, export button provides. To embed it into your website, click the Copy to Clipboard button to capture the embed code. Next, let's add the form to Site Designer. From the Element pane, click or drag and drop an HTML element to the canvas where you want the form to appear. When you hover over the element, you can click the HTML icon to launch the code editor dialog. Alternatively, go to the element pane, element properties to paste the code into the code dialog box. Hit publish in the top toolbar to upload your project with embedded form to S Drive. Click the link on the success pop-up to enjoy your creations online. Pretty easy. Now, if you want to use a third-party hosting provider for your form and website, in Web Form Builder, go to File, Export, Manual Server Setup. You'll save the form project and choose a location on your computer to export the files. The export window will provide you with two steps. The first step is to copy and paste the embed code into your website where you want the form to appear. Click Copy to Clipboard to capture the code. The second step will be to upload the form files to your server using an FTP utility. If you don't have a favorite FTP app, our direct FTP is pretty nifty. Click on the Open in Finder to view the exported files. You will see two items, a folder with your form name. In this case, it is called Example. 
This folder includes scripts and the HTML file for the form. The second item is a PHP file. Both the folder and that PHP file will need to be uploaded to your server to the root directory. If you are using a code editor, such as the HTML editor, you will need to paste the embed code in the body section where you want the form to appear. If you are using Site Designer, you will follow the same steps as before. Add an HTML element to the canvas and paste the code into the code dialog box from the element pane. Hit the export button to save the project files to your computer. The export box will give you all the files for your website for you to upload to your server. All the files and folders will be uploaded. On your server, you should see all the files and folders S-Drive produced along with the two items the exported folder and PHP file that were generated by Web Form Builder. Now your forms are live and ready to start enjoying some action.